Are you ready to do the news, Derek? Oh, hell yeah. Thanks thanks for filling in at the last minute, what with Tara and the hurricane issues and all. So. Hey, no problem, man. All right, let me find the intro. Right here. Let's go ahead and play that. Today. There we go. Each week, Catherine goes out worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible, horrible things, brings it back here in a segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And this week, oh, it was so bound to have. I, I, oh, damn it. I blew the surprise, but oh well. This was. <laughs> what? Yes, you see it. <laughs> this was bound to happen. It was destined to be. Some way or another, this shit had to fucking happen. Uh -huh. And guess where it comes to us from? Just, just Florida? guess. Florida, Miami International Airport. Man tries to sneak snakes on a plane. Travels uh, Safety Association says, Miami International Airport passenger is in trouble after being caught with snakes in his pants <laughs> while trying to board a flight. Excuse me, sir. Are those snakes in your pants? Or are you just happy to be traveling out of Miami? I uh, know. The uh, TSA said, that's so it, it's it was right there. Low hanging fruit. TSA administration said Monday the seven cold blooded reptiles were discovered on the male passenger by seven, s seven snakes. He had seven snakes, and that's that just pants. evil. Uh it's not clear where in the man's pants the snakes were hidden, or if the snakes were venomous. <laughs> I sure as fuck hope they were to be had them down his pants. I, uh, the unidentified passenger couldn't stop at sneaking. It's worse. The yeah, couldn't stop at sneaking snakes on a plane. He also had three tortoises in hidden in a nylon bag, bag concealed in his pants. That's gotta be the sign of the apocalypse. Ladies and gentlemen, this man <laughs> had an entire fucking reptile house. In his underwear. I worked for this guy. I swear to God, this this describes the last chef that I worked for, who had like five or six snakes and a couple turtles, and he was nonchalant about it. He's like, "Yeah, I took a fifteen foot long python on a bus with me. Who's gonna stop me?" But they don't go in your pants. The, okay, I am not afraid of snakes. I am respectful of snakes. Snakes are scary motherfuckers. I will be, you know, I could feed a snake, I could be cool with a snake, I could even pet a snake. I am not throwing a snake next to my snake! I'm not doing this! Yeah, I, you, you gotta respect the guy, though. At that point in time, he had eight phallic-shaped objects <laughs> down his pants and um, five slightly ball-shaped objects in there. <laughs> um... He, he might have just been trying to be manly when he was flying. He needed that extra little bit of confidence to get on that plane. I just, that'd be the point where, you know, if someone asks you if you have cancer, you just say yes. Yeah. Can you imagine just everything wriggling around down there, you know? I'm part... No, that, and that's not, that's not what you gotta worry about. It's the bite, it's not even the biting, it's the constricting. Well, I'm just thinking about other people looking at this guy who's got this mass of wriggling going. I'd be like, what's going on? I'm part Cthulhu. On, um, my, on my daddy's side. Should I be calling the TSA or should I just be calling the exorcist? Oh, okay. Oh, God. Here, this next one. Oh, I, I've got to find something to replace the douche quake. I seriously have got to. Because this, this is all kinds of douche. Adult children's bad mothering lawsuit dismissed uh, from Chicago. Raised in a $1.5 million Barrington Hills, Illinois home by their attorney father, two grown children have spent the last two years pursuing a unique lawsuit against their mom for, quote, bad mothering that alleges damages caused when she failed to buy toy cars, uh, toys for one, and sent another a birthday card he didn't like. 
Oh my god! This is the greatest plan to make profit ever! This... Uh, god damn! Not only... The, the, I... I... Uh, just... I'm... I'm just... It... It... It re relieves feminine itch and odor! These assholes! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Alleged offenses include family take her daughter to a car show, telling her then seven-year-old son to buckle his seatbelt or she would contact police, quote, haggling over the amount to spend on party dresses and calling her daughter at midnight to ask if she returns home from celebrating homecoming. So, th how much were they asking? I've got to see how much they were asking. More than $50,000 in, quote, emotional distress. So, the basics is, the basics of this is, they sued their mom for being their mom. Can we play the opening music to I'm Turning 16? I, that, that seems to be appropriate to this one. I don't know what it's like where, where, you, where, where you grew up. But down here, we have a tradition, and you, if you've watched Community, you may be aware of this. This is a real thing. Um, if you are misbehaving as a child, your parents will tell you, quote, go cut me a switch. Do you know what this is? Yeah, yeah, no, mine, uh, mine would tell me to go get a spoon from the kitchen. Okay, about the same thing. Now, okay, yep. the, the, you, were, you were required to go outside select the implement that would be used upon you, bring it back to your parents, and they would beat you with it. And yep. God help you. God help you if you got a thin little stick from outside. God, if you like, you know what, this one won't hurt so much. Because not only would they beat you harder and longer, you figured out the thin ones actually hurt more. I... I yeah. They, so to to they grew up in a mansion. They grew up in a fucking one point five million dollar home. Million dollar. That's more than most of the homes I've lived in, plus the one I'm living in now put together. That's. I think they just canceled Jersey Shore because there is no more douchiness left. These is, they used it all. It's gone. It's just dickery to the nth degree, man. I mean, just but. But, and, so, let, let me just get this straight, just going by this logic, any parent who disciplines their child by telling them no is now liable for, cre for causing emotional damages, because it yes. creates for that child a persona that no is a bad thing. A am I getting that about right, or is this just, what the fuck, dude? Fuck them! If, I, this is why... Yeah. I don't Wait, want... we, can't, we can't tell them to fuck them. That make, might make them sue us for emotional distress, you know? Eat me. You can sue my ass all you want. I ain't got shit. I'll show up in court with a beer. Speaking of which, nice oh, little no. segue there. <laughs> um, I need to stop feeding you those segues. You, you do. Um, <laughs> this is from Perth, Australia. <laughs> man jailed for uh, the per sheriff i'm not sure where, where did this would come from um uh, news i can't god damn it why don't you ever say where your stories are from people um i, I would assume australia yeah, not a whole lot Perth of other sheriff that... but uh man jailed for appearing in court naked steven Ga uh, go or i think go uh, 52 has been jailed for another 21 months after turning up naked for his trial at Perth Sheriff Court. Go appeared in contempt. Go appeared naked in the court dock and was found guilty of breaching the peace and being in contempt of court. Sheriff Fletcher told him the court expects people to come here in a decent state of dress. I trimmed my pubes. What more do you want? You want me to tie it back? I can tie it back, but uh. I'm just going out there as the good Lord intended me. 
Yeah, this is Australia. Go earn his title, The Naked Rambler, by walking unclothed from Land's End to John O'Groats after quitting his job as a lorry driver. The, the so-called Naked Rambler is back behind bars after stripping off less than a minute after being re released from prison. <laughs> <laughs> just could this keep clothes on that man this this is this is better the hearing was initially held up while court staff found a sheet of brown paper for him to sit on for quote hygiene reasons they let him stay naked they didn't remove him from the court and make him put clothes on they let him stay naked well, they just put him back in jail for two for two more years Right, but they let him appear, but they let him be in court naked, uh, he which means that he had to get up in front of a judge with it all hanging out there and plead why he wasn't performing a crime. He claims that arresting him for walking around naked is a breach of human rights and his right to freedom of expression. No, you, you know, actually, a friend it, of mine put it best: is that um, your ability to express yourself ends when it goes in my eye. I don't need to see um, your penis. I wonder if he's really that well endowed. <laughs> Can it go in your eye? How close does he need he to be stepped? He must be well endowed if he's willing to strut his stuff like that in the middle of a courtroom. I know, man. I just walk into the walk into the fucking court, you know. What? Na -na. Fucking what? <laughs> the legend. I just okay. There are a lot of things that are bad to do in court, but swinging your sack around, probably pretty high on the list. Yeah, you just... Oh, yeah. someone in the channel asked the worst question ever. Was he erect or not? <laughs> I love justice! Another one says, Judge, I take it you're pleading guilty then. <laughs> uh, oh, we have more from Australia. This This is awful. This is absolutely awful. This is this is a runner-up for the douchequake for this week. Good lord, this is fucking awful. Qantas apologizes for Rodki Samo rugby union Twitter farce. Um, or to put it, I've got to put this on the big screen because it's just oh no. For for those of you not from uh, Australia, blackface. Um, Qantas. Oh. This is and Qantas is the big Australian. Uh, they they are the big Australian uh, uh, airline. Qantas has apologized for rewarding two rugby fans who promised to wear blackface paint and Afro wigs at the Tri Nations Decider. It's a rugby tournament. Um, the Twitter competition held earlier this month asked Australian fans to tell how they could show their support for the team for the chance to win two exclusive tickets to the game with New Zealand's Brisbane Suncorp Stadium on Saturday night. The competition winners, uh, competition winners arrived at the game dressed as their favorite player, Radke Samo, wearing Australian's famous green and gold and with their arms, legs, and faces painted black. What was supposed to be a show of support sparked outrage among Twitter users who labeled the blacking up stunt appalling. Qantas quickly removed the photo and apologized to its followers Sunday morning. Um, oh god, ah, oh, just, and there they are with the actual guy in black. You, look, just looking at him right there, I, got, I gotta put this on the base screen, just looking at him right there, he's like, they, he, that is the, they don't pay me enough for this face. That really is. <laughs> Look at these. Okay. In case it has not been made abundantly clear, if you are not black or yellow or red or purple, well, purple, I guess you can get away with purple. There's, unless, unless, no, there's that one blue guy who took all the silver and he turned himself blue, so maybe not. If you are not that color, do not paint yourself that color as a joke. I think we've already shown blackface is offensive. This is, I mean, this is, uh, this is basic common knowledge. You should know this going into it. You should understand that this is the kind of reaction that you're going to get. It's, it, this is not some secret. This is not some hidden code. This has been pretty, and what, what's, what's killing me is that Qantas thought it was okay at first. They had it up on their website. Someone thought this was a good idea. Someone thought this was a good idea. Yes! Qantas 
put this on their website and said, yes, that's the image we want to show for our, our airline. That's what we want the world to see. This we want the world back. We support blackface. We're going to tell the world. <sighs> We're bringing back minstrels. I understand I understand you're a fan of the guy, sure, but imagine how he feels. And they got that skin tone wrong. That's what's that's another part that's killing me here. Look at this. Look at this. They just needed the red lips and the big white in the eyes and You know, had it been an actual show of support, maybe you could have gone with a color a human being would actually be. I have never seen anyone who is charcoal color. I've seen some darker skinned folks. I've seen some really white skinned folks. Hi, everybody. I've never seen. I've I've seen some orange motherfuckers. I don't know how they do that, but I have. I have never seen someone be like what? Let's like like this this color. That's not a color that shows like the color of the screen on my on my phone. That's not a color that people are unless you know they're dying. If you are that color, go to a hospital. Something is wrong. It's called necrosis. All right, let's see. What else do we have? More oh, things to make our minds hurt. We have, of course, the drunken naked. We we can't go through. <laughs> Where would we be without the drunken naked? Bread and butter, man. This is totally my wheelhouse. Drunk and naked. Drunken naked, man. <laughs> Spends night in stranger's vehicle. Owner decides not to press charges. Wilkesboro, North Carolina. Police in Wilkesboro said a man who got drunk at the Sagebrush uh, restaurant on Thursday evening caused $600 in damage to a vehicle he spent the night in at the red carpet inn. (laughs) What? We're getting to it? Okay, police said the vehicle's owner woke up Friday morning and found the man naked as he was getting out of the vehicle. When the owner looked in the back seat, he saw the man at all got thrown up and defecated on the back seat. The vehicle's owner originally wanted to press charges, but changed his man his mind when the man apologized, cleaned the vehicle, and paid to have the seat steam cleaned. Okay, at least he was a pro- polite. He manned up to it at least, but at the same time, got naked, threw up, and broke into the car to throw up and take a shit in it. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Did all right, I've got all right, got logistics here. Did he take off his clothes with the intent of getting in this car and just exploding from every hole, essentially? Or did this just sort of, you know what? That looks like a nice place to sleep, but it may be a little warm in there. I, Maybe it was a van, it looked like a big blue porta potty on its <laughs> side. His fingers all oh, just open the door. The door's not open in the right way. Oh, well, I'll get anyway. I, you know, doing stupid things while drunk, it happens. I get it. I do. <laughs> but this this goes beyond stupid. This goes beyond anything that you've pulled. This goes beyond anything that I've pulled. This goes beyond anything I have seen anyone do before while drunk. I've, yeah, that's so, oh, someone in the channel put it great. The Aristocrats live tour. <laughs> I'm going on the road with my show. <laughs> and and you know, lots of things. What was happening here? That calling a cab. He obviously had the money to clean the car out. So how was calling a cab not higher on the list of options? Wallet was in his other pair of pants. Or his only pair of pants, possibly. They have ride homes that will take you home. That that will that will take you the fuck home. They have ride homes. That they will do that. I just I don't uh. Alright. Let's see what else we have. Oh. Okay, I normally don't do stories when people injure themselves. However, this one I could not ignore. I, I don't. I, I try to steer away from people get hurt or hurt themselves or whatnot. But this Owensboro construction worker lights firework injures hand. It might sound sound a little, uh, but let let me get to what happened. 
Owen, Owensboro construction worker sustained serious injuries Friday morning after lighting what he thought was a homemade firework. Uh, construction manual, uh, man, manual. Construction manager Ted Lolly uh, uh, tells uh, thir- the news 38 year old James Huff of Fordsville found the round foil wrap device near the gas tanks he- at the site and lit it. So. What the? What? He, let, you, let's. How let someone jump to the conclusion? It's wrapped in foil. It has a fuse. I'd better set fire to it. Oh, look. Someone made me a firecracker. <laughs> it's like not even investigating it. It's just, oh, hey, look. Fire. <laughs> didn't take it apart. Didn't call. You know what? I see an incendiary device sitting around. My first thought is, I'm a call in the cops. By gas tanks? By gas Fucking right. But no, no, no. Instead of calling the cops, it was, oh, fire. Purdy. Okay, I, I just, seriously. How is it, how in the way, how in the fucking world was this anything resembling a good idea? I see something like that. I think 5th of November. This dude sees it. He thinks 4th of July. <laughs> Nice. Very nice. Oh, good. Just, 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 but, uh, motherfucker. I just, I, I'm just trying to understand the mindset of where, where this happened. This happened in Owensboro, North Carolina. Yeah, I think this is North Carolina. It's, you're in the United States of America. We've had issues with this sort of thing. Maybe you heard something about it. I don't know. When, Terrorism. Yeah, you know, I, how did... It's like, did you miss the last fucking decade? Do you not under... Yes, I'm pretty sure he was on the perpetual bender that led up to <laughs> lighting something he found on the fucking ground. Uh, so, so, oh, God, no. Some There's the, an offspring song that covers this, guys. Uh, Bridget Mora says, So simple a caveman could do it. <laughs> oh, Really? <laughs> Really? Ow. That's awful. That's that's awful. Uh that no oh that's horrible. Alright, and finally tonight, lots of people sent me this one. Lots and lots, and Uh oh. This is this is quite glorious what you're about to I, I ladies and gentlemen, are you sitting comfortably? Because Oh my. Okay. Starts off innocuously enough here. Sex crazed man crashes stolen semi into adult store, steals pricey sex toy. This is, comes from Ohio. Wait for it. Wait for it. Uh, police are looking for the sex crazed loser. That's from the article. There are no quotes. <laughs> are looking for the sex crazed loser who crashed a stolen semi truck into an adult store or early Monday morning and swiped a very expensive uh triple oh, X toy. Ew. Cops say the sexual deviant wasn't screwing around either. Oh come on. This is the actual fucking article. Yes, yeah, someone had fun writing this one. <laughs> Once he drove the big rig into the store, he headed straight for an eight hundred dollar sex toy. It is described as a lifelike masturbator complete with female genitalia and with legs and buttocks. buttocks. <laughs> police said he had to have dropped the anatomically correct so- sex toy off someplace because police found the semi in man still in a quarter of a, uh, still a quarter of a mile from the store where he stole it, but the sex toy was not in the cab. <laughs> All right, there's a video. I, I'm going to play it. I'm going to regret it. But uh-huh. um, I I've got to I I I've got to know. Let's have a look here. There's there's the truck. Adult Mart. That's that's nice. I'm gonna put this on the big screen here. Adult Mart. Oh, okay. Let's let's skip ahead because there's video from inside the store. Skip ahead. Damn it. Radio dead air, boys and girls. It always gets worse here. Just 
Uh, uh, look, there's the front of the store, which had to be boarded the fuck up, because he drove a semi-truck through the front doors. A, se- a fucking cause that little damage. A fucking 18-wheel... I've g- Come on, please show us. Show us the in-store video. Show us. Show you us. You know they're going to blur it out even if they show it. Uh, Man, they're really bold with that sign. Adult Mart. All right, come on, skip ahead. Is this... Skip to the end. That's a. Uh... I'm amazed he caused that little damage. Look at how big that truck is. I know, he right? Should have knocked over half the fucking wall with that thing. Here it comes. There. Uh Oh no. Well, this is. Oh yeah. This. Th- that's what the video is from. This is the second time this has happened <laughs> at this store. Oh, oh, there he goes. He yeah. knew what he was coming for too. Yeah. That, now he that video. This plan out. That video you just saw, that's that's what makes this even better. The video you just saw wasn't the guy with the track with the semi truck. It was a completely different guy. This is the second time it's happened. The, and they also note uh Brownhelm Township where this happened has an exceedingly low female population. If you have any information on who this sticky-fingered perv is, uh, give cops a call. Who the hell wrote this? So, I know. who. I, someone's... This is not how... This is not journalism. But, yeah, when... When people... When the men keep crashing into your sex to- store, desperate for vagina, plastic or otherwise... <laughs> like some you got a problem. Apocalyptic film. <laughs> All the ladies are gone. We better raid the sex shop. They made that movie. It was called Cherry 2000. I shit you not. Melody Griffith. They made that. Fu- she was a robot. No, Melody Griffith was a robot. But there was a robot. Robot woman. That was the whole point of the movie. They were going to get a. They made that fucking movie. And now they're reenacting it in real life. An eight hundred dollar vagina and gen- genitals and like, yes. what makes it worth eight hundred dollars? I mean, that's really what does it do? Complex Japanese prosthetic technology. It is the cutting edge in jerking off machines. What? What? What does it do? It is the Corvette of masturbation engines, Nash. I don't know what it does, but it's going to get you there <laughs> really well, presumably. And just to make this even better, they don't know where the fuck it is. He had time to to get out of the car. He, they caught him. They found the truck somewhere in the wild right now. There is just legs and an ass. That's sitting in the woods hobo <laughs> that's gonna be- thank you jesus you know uh, i don't know where this magical lady bits come from but all <laughs> i know is i don't have to chop them off one to get it this time. <laughs> <laughs> you won't have to look so hard for suspects just suspects just check the homeless look for the guy who can't stop smiling there you go that's that's the one What's your what evidence are you presenting to the uh, to the court, Sheriff? Well, Your Honor, he's the only man in town who looks like he's gotten some lately. <laughs> he must be guilty. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Oh, so so what have we learned tonight on the show? We have we have cars learned toilets. cars are not toilets. No, no, no. We we we've learned that um. The, the the best color you can be is your own. Um, we have learned that uh, most men are born with a single snake. Don't attempt to enhance this, especially if you're going to fly on a plane. Um, uh, when when uh, when going to the uh, to the, to court, um, naked wear a suit. Wear a suit. It'll make a good impression on the jury. And and, and finally. If if you really need to get laid that bad, God gave you a hand for a reason. That's all I'm saying. That's 
all I'm all fucking the money saying. All went into stealing that semi, he could have bought a bus ticket over to the next town and bought himself a hooker and a hotel room and probably still saved a few dollars on the side to get a can of Coke. Dude, could have bought a bottle of baby oil for two bucks. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck's sake.